Hi, my name is Paul Turek and I'll be teaching the Male Infertility Review Lecture uh, today for the American College of Surgeons. I'd like to thank Drs. Ritchie and Williams for the invitation. I'd like to be there. Um, I'm at a meeting in Montreal at the time of this, so I'm filming this early. I feel like the guy who can't be there at the Academy Awards and who uh, can't receive the award. There is no award today, but I just want to give you a quick blitzkrieg, just the facts view of male infertility for your board exams. I feel qualified in one sense because I'm a fertility specialist, but in another because I did just take my boards and I, I think I passed. So male infertility is common. Uh, it's defined as one year of unprotected sex without uh, a pregnancy. And some couples come in sooner. If you look at the distribution of cause, about a third of the time, it'll be a male factor problem causing the infertility in a couple. And about half the time, a male infertility factor is involved. So, in fact, it's worth evaluating the male, and it's worth evaluating him early on in the, in the evaluation of a couple.